says the inspections are not related to an engine explosion last week that killed one passenger. The cancellations only make up about 1% of their total flights. Volusia County residents are on high alert after several families say they're spotting coyotes near the beach. Not only that, but the coyotes are believed to have killed at least six cats in Bethune Beach. One of the wild animals has even been spotted on home surveillance video. Residents say the coyotes started coming out after Hurricane Irma. They think their food source may have been depleted, so they're looking in different places. Can't go out and walk your small dogs without some means of protection, whether it's a ball bat or a handgun or something. And it's just frightening. It's scary. FWC officers won't remove coyotes, but they tell residents to always keep an eye on their pets and do not leave any food outside. And despite some showers today, artists continue to work on what will be the longest ever street tattoo. The artwork stretches more than one mile along Rosemary Avenue in West Palm Beach. We first told you about the project earlier this weekend intended to connect the downtown and historic Northwest. Artist Steed Taylor is using three elements in the street mural, Florida native flower, flowers, a braided Celtic design and music notations. The street tattoo is expected to last two years before fading away. It is such an amazing thing to see. It I is. was out there on Wednesday. It's beautiful. Was the it? street tattoo. Oh, yeah, it was really cool. I need to make a trip out there. Yeah. Look at this. North Palm Beach. Look at this video. Goodness. How gloomy is yes. it? Yes. Oh, I hate rain. But I we know. need the rain. We need the rain. I will say, <laughs> as I was driving around town um, near Boca Raton, Delray Beach, you could see like little sections of the sun, though. Mm -hmm. It was like it was trying really hard. Bittersweet. To get out. <laughs> well, the rain chances continue today. Yeah. I know. And into the evening hours and overnight and the work week. Oh. I know. Roll your eyes. Everyone roll your eyes. <laughs> Take a look at Doppler radar right now. It's moving in once again. This is with the western sea breeze now instead of the eastern side. And it's moving in over toward Belle Glade, Clewiston, up to or Okeechobee right now. Take a look at it. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. Currently raining in Clewiston and likely to be raining in Belle Glade in just a few minutes and into Pahokee. We've got that easterly, southeasterly flow. That drew in the showers throughout most of the afternoon. Then we have the westerly flow coming in right along, uh, let's see, Fort Myers. And that's what's bringing in the rain chances now to Clewiston and Belle Glade. And then we have another system hanging out here over toward Panama that dropped a tornado over toward Fort Walton Beach. This continues to work its way our direction. No severe weather expected, but as that warm front lifts, our temperatures warm once again. We've got that southerly flow, then that area of low pressure works its way our direction and we see rain chances once more. So future track does a very good job of showing it here. Pay attention to the time frame about 1030 tonight. Yeah, you still see a few specks of green showing up here on future track. An indication of a stray shower will keep it that way through the morning hours on Monday. Then a better chance for showers and storms to redevelop all across South Florida along the Treasure Coast, the Palm Beaches, even inland through the afternoon here at 230 in the afternoon again into the evening and over night hours and into Monday evening. Look at this eight o'clock. The Treasure Coast getting hit the hardest once again. So we've got the chance even all the way through Tuesday afternoon as we stop here at 230 on Tuesday scattered showers and storms. So when it's all said and done once again, this is an additional amount of rain on top of what we've already seen. Portions of South Florida picked up about two and a half inches to about a half an inch for some of us who didn't see as much, but additional inch to two inches as we get through the day on Tuesday. So this is much needed rain. We just have to deal with the gloominess as it comes. All right, your beach and boating forecast. A small craft caution in place sees uh, at about two to four feet and we've got winds out of the southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Here's your forecast for tonight. Gloomy showers possible, still warm. We'll drop to a low of 73. Tomorrow's high back up right around normal 83 degrees with scattered storms mainly in the afternoon. We will see some sun tomorrow once again. Here's South Florida certified most accurate forecast working our way through the work week. We've got the chance for rain Tuesday, even a little bit chance on Wednesday. A little more sunshine by the end of the week here. Sunshine State living up to its name, right? Our next system doesn't move in here until Saturday into Sunday. Gianna.